Fracture Nonunion Causes and Treatment In nonunion, the healing process of the fracture stops. Failure of fixation of the fracture indicates a nonunion. Nonunion may be caused by excessive motion of the bony ends and incomplete healing of the fracture. We need stability for this fracture. Excessive motion is bad. We also need vascularity and adequate blood supply for the fracture to heal. Without good blood supply and the growth of new blood vessels, it is difficult for the new bone to form and for the fracture to heal. Fractures at risk for non-union 1. Scaphoid fracture 2. Another one is fracture femoral neck. Another one is the fifth metatarsal fracture, we call it Jones fracture. The worst one is the open fracture, especially the tibia. The tibia is the most common bone to develop nonunion. Types of nonunion. The first one we call it elephant foot or hypertrophic nonunion means it's a lot of callus. It is vascular and it results from inadequate immobilization or fixation. So there is mobility and when there is mobility there is a lot of callus. The second one is called oligotrophic. Oligo means a little. So there is blood supply with little or no callus formation. It is not a lot of callus formation. It usually occurs after a fracture that have major displacement. The third type is atrophic. This is a bad one. It is usually a vascular and no blood supply. The ends of the fragments become osteoporotic and atrophic. This type requires bone graft in addition to stabilization of the fracture. Common causes that may lead to nonunion smoking, diabetes, obesity, osteoporosis, unstable fixation, infection. The most common causes usually open fracture and fracture with severe displacement. Cigarette smoking significantly reduces the bone healing. Pseudoarthrosis is five times more common in a smoker. Cigarette smoking may affect the function of the stem cells. Treatment of nonunion. Conservative treatment may be helpful yet controversial, such as bracing, or electric stimulation. Most non-unions require surgical treatment. If the ends of the bone appear avascular, then bone grafting may be necessary. The goal of surgical treatment is to number one, restore vascularity of the bone, two, provide stability of the fracture with a plate or a rod. 3. To create an atmosphere of a healing response that's important to heal the fracture by using bone graft or a bone graft substitute when needed. You can see an example of clavicle fracture treated by a plate and bone graft and another one of humeral fracture treated by a rod and bone graft. The ideal treatment for humeral shaft nonunion is a plate and bone graft. This is a patient example of nonunion of the tibia.
This is an x-ray of the nonunion of the fracture. You can see an atrophic nonunion. The nonunion is mobile, it is a pseudoarthrosis type, and it is a difficult nonunion to treat. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.